Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Let's Play Factorio. This is 0.15.4 and we're going to do uh, multiplayer here with Electrobot. Welcome. Yeah, he said welcome. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're going to connect to a server. We have a server set up. We did a scenario. We're doing a uh, rail world and uh, basically we just join and uh, apparently this one already has somebody in their group. <clears throat> And there we go. I guess that's it. We're in the game. And I'm not going to keep holding down the button all the time. Okay, so uh, let's make ourselves a pick. Do, 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 do. Oh, I got friggin' music stuck in my head right now. Oh, crap. Where's our iron here? Oh, there it is. So, do you see me on the map again, or? Um, not right now. Because that was weird before that you kept seeing me on the map. You know, it would be nice if they started you with some steel picks. Yeah. So Peter Larson is asking if he can join the rail world. Not going to happen, unfortunately. It's a private server. We don't have it set up anyways. That, like, Because the, the way their multiplayer thing, does, it's not like one of those scripts that make new bases. But rather, you pre-configure them. There is a script out there, though, where you can make people start uh, from scratch kind of thing. And it'll yeah. start a new base every time they join. Like, not every time they join, but, like, first time they join. And uh, they go up, out between, like, up to, like, 8k out kind of thing. Oh, that's a... Oh, never mind. That's coal. Damn. I thought that was stone. It's dark again. Yeah. So you guys on YouTube, uh, well, yeah, when you're watching this light. recording, of course, we're live streaming at the same time. So sometimes we're oh, going to be acting weird or strange. Oh, th yeah, there's a tiny little uranium, I notice. Yeah. It's uh, to get your palate wet. That's a new feature. We have uranium. Oh, let's check out its glow. Ooh. I love the glow effect to it, though. Yeah, it's cool. It just sucks that, you know, it doesn't irradiate you. Like, slowly give you tick damage. Yeah, you should be able to eat it. Can you mine it? No, it has. It says it has to be done with sulfuric acid. It'd be funny if you can hand mine it. <laughs> okay, um... Oh, I should get some stone, actually. Oh, that was stone up there. But yeah, so we're we're recording and streaming. When I stream, I'll I won't always stream the entire footage of everything. But I thought, why not stream a bit? You know, some people want to watch me stream and be making these videos, so you get to kind of see the raw footage and you know what's happening between you know recording and things like that over time. But nothing too crazy. So the way I like to start in Factorio is I prefer to start um, 100%. Uh, like, cool. you know, before electricity for the first episode. Have you used the click drag yet? Click drag? Uh, yeah. Kind of, yeah. It's uh, weird, because I guess, does it distribute evenly amongst those? Oh, no, or? they don't. I don't oh. think. Because I had 50-something coal, and it gave two to my um, furnace, and like 40-something to the other one. The huh. miner. So... Gotta love the first uh, bit anyway, it's just hand doing everything. Just like the entire episode, just do nothing but mine stone. <laughs> With the stick. With the stick. No, no, not yeah. even the stick, nothing. Well, no, I guess no, it, it is no, a no. stick you... in the guy's hand, is it? 
initially? No, it's just fist. I uh, would think, right? Can you mine because with an actual stick, though? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can do it. I've seen so. something come out of his hand. Oh, no, 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 that's what he has. Yeah, 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 he's got, like... You know, when he has nothing in his bar, it, it is a stick or something, like a metal bar or something. Yeah, okay, you're right. He's got some sort of stick and he's digging down with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think... I think that's new. I don't... I, I've seen it before. That's why it came to oh, my okay. mind when you brought it up. Um, it almost... It looks like a pickaxe backwards. Like, you know, he, the yeah. pick is broken, so he's using the back mm -hmm. of it or something. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's zoom out again. That zoom level was not high def there. <laughs> There you go. Those will get us our coal, so that's that's worked out. We'll get some more iron there. Um, so yeah, pretty so, much okay. more stone. So our power options are steam, um, solar, nuclear. That's it, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, okay. uh, there's adjustable changes there you can do. For example, yeah. I mean, steam can take multiple fuel sources, so that's you know, you can use like oil. I don't think you can directly yeah. use oil to it, but you can make solid fuel. It would be kind of cool if you could hook up oil directly to boilers, though. Hmm. Okay, so... One, two... Uh, we don't have... Well, we can get some coal over here now. Uh, this is kind of a fresh start. I, I might continue playing the other one over time, but uh, we're playing multiplayer, so probably not in the end. <laughs> oh no, I've probably already lost achievement for 111 items. <laughs> Do we have? Uh, no, they, the free play. Yeah. That annoys me. Rawr! But Friggin I already devs. got the achievement, so I don't care. I wonder if I could... Well, like, I probably couldn't code it, but I wonder if the scripting in the API is enough to allow them to create f the f a fake achievements, no matter what game mode or what you do, and yeah. override the entire interface kind of thing, so you can re-earn them in any yeah. mode. Now, we are playing separate teams, like I told you guys before. Um, I'm a bit of a loner. Yes, it's a private multiplayer, and it's a special map, like it's duplicated. So you can see, this is my spot, this will be Electrobot's spot. And, um, yeah, definitely private. There you go. I got that's still burning the wood from before. Or did I accidentally add more? No, I think that was the original wood. Huh.
Yeah, so the goal here is we're we're friends. We're kind of like in a team. Um, you can do, see our diplomacy here. We're allies. Uh, I can go into his base. I can actually break his stuff if I wanted to help build, or we could do things like that. Um, we still have our... Oh, no! <laughs> he set me as an enemy. Uh, we can. Uh, we have our separate research and production stats and all that, which is pretty cool. Uh, but uh, we can access each other's bases like we were on the same team, which is quite cool. And we should be able to use each other's rail lines, things like that. So should be giving us some good opportunities anyways. We're sort of pioneers in testing this too because I don't think many people have played the method we have. Well, we've been doing this for ages. I started doing this, I think, before anyone else out there had actually done that because I was a person that uh, always liked to... Uh, I like the idea of multiplayer, but I didn't like the idea of sharing research and stuff. So we've been doing this for years now. Um, Electro's a bit newer on the scope of that. But um, yeah, there's some new changes that came into 15. So Playing Factorial while listening to Factorial stream. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> yeah, what indeed. How dare somebody enjoy their life? There you go. So, literally, this is what we're going to keep doing for the first little bit. Um, I could probably... Let's go get some stone. I could probably move on to uh, making some copper ones now. But uh, basically, just going to do this back and forth, back and forth. Actually, I might make, uh, yeah, let's do one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three again. I started playing Factorio again a few hours ago after about 30 minutes of playing. I'm like, nope, 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 I'm out. Wait, you're not a fan of Factorio? There you go. Let's get some copper going here, though. Wait, aren't those the ingredients? I guess these aren't ingredients for... I thought they were. Maybe I'm crazy. You know what I'm surprised, Electro? I have never seen one of those ad things that say, has science gone too far and show like a factorial biter? <laughs> Just slowly trickling things in here. Oh, these are pretty good. Nice. Yeah, so the next episode we will be uh, building all the steam stuff. Uh, we'll build uh, conveyors, etc, etc. Basically, we'll have all our materials ready. And then uh, I'll probably build it in between the episodes, of course, because uh, that will make life more interesting. Um, but uh, the first episode is always just basically running back and forth in a big circle, gathering your materials, and then... Uh, basically feeding things with coal which you can see now we got lots of coal here guess we can give these guys a bit more coal nice there you go so uh, we can start crafting things ahead of time here so steam engines uh not many. They take a lot of iron, actually. 31 iron in total. I thought boilers were expensive, but they're actually really cheap. Only 4 iron and 5 stone. That's actually ridiculously cheap, to be honest. Uh, so let's do... F how many are we going to do? 
five, ten, I guess. I was thinking going even further than that, but maybe we shouldn't. Uh, one offshore pump. So if you do ten boilers, uh, right now it's okay. one offshore, sure. twenty boilers, and forty steam engines. Nice. It's very basic. It just can power itself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's, well, uh, one power yeah. thing has got to be enough to power a lot more than that. 900 kilowatts or whatever. Yeah, it just it's basically the pump, uh, boiler, steam engine, uh, burners or a little bit of belt, and the mining drill that feeds that belt. You could do yeah. radar on that thing. Two or three of them yeah. almost. Well, right now it's just... Uh, 300 kilowatts for a radar, yeah. Let's give it another Let's steam get engine. light armor, just in case we get owned. And let's give ourselves some more firearm magazines, just in case. Okay, so, um, let's get, uh, so you need burner inserters for the boilers. Well, you don't, but I always use burner inserters because, uh, they kind of help. Uh, power poles. Can't say no to power poles. And then uh, more iron for our steam engines. So we can do 5, 10, Annoying 15. Annoying when you forget to pick up the coal to feed to the oh, uh, yeah. things. That's why I have 8 of them. <laughs> well, oh. I'm not that advanced yet. <laughs> I went the uh, power route first. No, I know. I always start this way. This is my, my cane, cane signature. An entire episode of just you know running back and forth with my head cut off, but it also is a there's a reason to it because then the next episode I have handcrafted like a billion items. So there you go, that'll work. Guess we should wait. We are almost enough for that one last piece of iron. There we go. So I'll do our uh, 20 steam engines. We're getting there. These must be getting kind of full. Lecho's pretty much better at this game than me, but the good news is I got more time. <laughs> yeah. And before Lecho's like, oh, by the way, I'm on holidays. <laughs> yeah, you're not visiting family tomorrow, are you? Uh, no, but at least when you visit family, it's for like an evening and not a whole friggin' week. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, now it's just more the the wait for uh, iron. So we'll make more things. Uh, I'll need uh, I'll need ten pipes, I guess, between the boilers and the engines. Of course, I'm gonna need lots of transport belts, and then I'm gonna need uh, pretty much a bit of everything, really. Um, and then. Uh, We'll start our next episode. So for between now and the next episode, I will get a bunch of inserters, uh, transport belts. Uh, we'll probably make a few stone furnaces again, uh, electric miners, um, and some science labs, and some basic science packs. Probably just reds. I, I doubt I'll touch the greens. And then, uh, yeah, we should be ready. And then uh, maybe I'll make a radar as well on top of that. And uh, then we'll put it all together and uh, we'll make something beautiful, hopefully, with it. So just to show you guys. Oh, yeah, we have that. I want to try this. Default. Uh, add a group. Oh, here you go.
<laughs> we'll see if he notices it. How's it going? Okay. You having any issues crafting items? No. Damn. I haven't. Uh, <laughs> are you changing permissions on me right now? <laughs> I wanted to see if it worked. Yeah, nice. Thanks. <laughs> we're not going for the achievement, though, so. That's a good way. Oh, yeah, we're going for the achievement. No one could craft. Yeah. It's like, but we didn't even start with an assembler. Oh, well, let's see. Uh, does it even, does it tell you how, why you failed or no? Oh, no, I already removed the thing. Oh, it just says on, it can't on free play. Okay. <laughs> you can even disable it so you cannot make it auto launch your rockets. That's just a troll. <laughs> That's just like all the options you have on yeah. here. Wait, well, was there a. I swore I saw the word. W okay, can you walk? No. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> you may not walk on this server. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm surprised they don't have an option for, uh, oh, I, I don't want to look now. You you can't escape the game. Alt F4 is disabled. Escape is disabled. You go to end task, but end task just uh, doesn't work somehow. Nice try. But uh, anyways, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and uh, we'll see wonderful people next time. See you later.